Hello, everybody. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, and with my computer back, I figured it was about time to. Um, yeah. Here we are. It's January 23rd. It's actually summer in Bobete. Summer in Lesotho. Uh, the sun is shining. The grass is green. Well, what little grass there is. Uh, the corn's growing, which is exciting. And, uh... As it turns out, I've been doing these clips for a little while. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. A couple weeks ago, my wife Stacy turned and looked at me at the dinner table and said, Hey, hasn't it been about 10 years since you got home from Peace Corps? And it took me a, a couple of days to look up the date, but May 10th was the 10 year anniversary of my close of service date in Peace Corps. And since then, I've been thinking about what the legacy of that time in my life has been. It's felt very present in the last couple of months in a way that it hasn't in the past. Part of it is physical circumstances. Right out of camera, right over here, is a bed. I am, after all, broadcasting from our guest room, which makes the environment that I spend most of my quarantine life in uh, about the same size as the interior of my rendezvous in Peace Corps. And other pieces also feel similar. The repetition of days, the emphasis on baking, getting pets without a clear game plan. I was in Lesotho from 2008 to 2010, and it occurs to me, then, that this is actually the second pandemic that I've lived through. Peace Corps in Southern Africa during that time was defined by HIV. It colored our lives, our works, our jokes. It was a time of learning new ways to live, and learning to live with loss for most Peace Corps volunteers, including me. Both of the way that we had lived, but also the loss that occurred almost weekly in the village. It got swallowed up in the news this spring, but in March the federal government, as a safety measure, closed service for all serving volunteers. For the first time since 1961, there are no Peace Corps volunteers serving abroad right now. And that's a loss. Even though for most of us the question, was Peace Corps fun, is a very, very complicated question. It was meaningful. And it's a time that I imagine will define who I am for a very long time. Sergeant Shriver, the, the founder of the Peace Corps, said that one of the goals of Peace Corps was to develop what he called practical idealists. Young people who would go out into the world full of idealism and come back with practical skills to make that idealism realized in their communities. And his idea was to have half a million young Americans doing it every year. And we've never quite reached that level. But I have to believe that, that the legacy of Peace Corps is one of service and practicality. And it's hard to hear that that's not happening anymore. At least for now. Presumably it will restart once this time of pandemic ends. So one last thing. Monday is Memorial Day which is a day to remember members of this country's armed forces who died during their service. And it's right that we commemorate that. And it's right, too, that we not complicate Memorial Day with other meanings that already holds enough. But today, if you will, spare a thought with me for the 309 Peace Corps volunteers who gave not just their time and energy, but also their lives in the years since 1961. It is a meaningful thing to have served. And it's a meaningful thing to look back 10 years later and say, what has that service meant in a life? Thank you, and I'll see you on Sunday.